Okay, so today I'm going to bring you with me while I make content for our clients. Now, when I say make content, I don't mean like we're gonna hop into Photoshop and Adobe Express and like make graphics and write messaging. What I'm talking about is making vertical videos, like short form videos for like TikTok and Reels. So you can kind of know how you can do this for your brand or business, no matter like what you do. You need to set aside time and create content. But first tea. Do we like my Slytherin cup? I got this from the Harry Potter store in New York City. I'm obsessed and it's large. This is a 20 ouncer. I don't believe in small teacups. It's not enough, not enough caffeine. It's not, it doesn't help anybody. Okay, so the first thing I always do before I create my content is I spend time on the places and I save ideas. Specifically, I save two things. I save like ideas, like this is a sound clip I could make something from and that way like I can go back and use it. And they're usually something I can do in like one shot maybe two or three, but I try to keep it very simple. And two, I look for templates. Now, this is not to be confused with like going into Canva, going into Adobe Express, buying like template designs. This is like inside Instagram Reels templates. And I'll show you what this looks like. So I find templates where I could like make content to put into it. That way the editing is done for me and I don't have to like think about it because my objective when I'm creating content for our clients is to one, be effective for them and their sales message and to make it as simple as possible because your girl has a limited amount of time. We are on like a flat rate with our clients. So like they pay us a retainer. And so we can't spend tons and tons of time creating stuff because it kind of goes out of the purview of like what the allotted hours are within our retainer. So now we scroll. So what I usually do is I just go open up Instagram. I hit the reels button at the bottom and I just start watching and seeing what it is that's working well for other people and see if I can use it. Like and then I organize, so I save them with the save button on my phone. I don't feel like posting today. This is not important, but aren't these cute? This is not important, but okay. So this is why I talk about a template. So I have this used template here in the bottom corner. I can see it and I can see, I need just like three clips. So like one will be 4.4 seconds. 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and then I can like do it. So I can save this. I'm gonna save it so that I can reference it for later. Okay, so when I like a sound, I wanna go and see if I can find a template that someone has created using this sound to see if it works. So this one has a template. So I wanna see if I can use it. Okay, just trying to find something that'll work. Okay, so I love this. So this will work. So I'm gonna save this one so I can save the template. Let's go back. Let's keep looking. Sometimes it doesn't work out, and that's fine. Okay, so one of the other things that I like to do is go search specifically for like words I'm trying to do. So cold weather. Okay, so I can search just like exactly like what I'm looking for based on what the client does. And then I can like pull up reels and see what other things it is that they're doing. Okay, so here's the thing about saving reels that can be a little annoying is I can't organize them from saving them in reels. So what I have to do is go into my all posts and I have to go and I have to like save them where I want them to go. Because we manage multiple accounts, I will come up with things that I need to put into a specific collection for a client. If I have like more than one client that like it would be really good for, I will make sure that it goes into both because I gotta organize what I'm doing so that it works for the client and works for me. That way I've got them where I need them to go. Okay, so that's how you organize your your reels, okay? Let's do the next thing. Okay, so when you're recording your content, you need like a space to do it. Now I usually record 
in my corner. Like that's where I record my YouTube videos and my shorts for like the Mrs. Desiree Rose YouTube channel. But when we're doing client content, I had to have a set up a specific space. So this is what I have set up. So it's pretty simple and it makes sense for like a product shoot. So I have different setups. So I have this table. So I have like my lighting that we use. I have this box. This is a light box so I can put my products inside of it and the camera just goes right in here and it's like a nice light situation. I have this that like holds my phone and then I also like will scoot this over here and I will use this. So I have the white brick background. If you are an OG on the channel, you know I used to have this as my background. Fun little like sleeper moment. Uh, this is the client's products. And then I have like the, I like this as a backdrop for this is literally my cutting board that goes in my kitchen. You can buy different backdrops, different things like that off of Amazon that work really well. All of this, all of this is on Amazon. I will link to a lot of this. I'll make an Amazon shopping list down below if like this is something you're really interested in. Other things you might notice over here is I have, this is called a C-stand. This is a super extra thing that you do not need. What I'll do is I'll attach this to this to get like a top down shot. And that's just like a fancy thing that I do because I've been doing this for a long time. And so like, that's the shot I know I'm specifically looking to do. So you need a station, like a place that you can record the content that you're gonna do. So now, I, now that I'm ready to film, I'll set the camera up so you can watch me do it. But what I'll do is I'll record one and then I'll do the video because I wanna make sure that I'm doing it the way that I want. Like it's the shots are set up the way that I want to, the timing is set up the way that I want it to, in case I have to reshoot something. So that's why it's important when you have the templates and the sound effects like you're recording it. So you also, it's important to note, I'm not using like a fancy camera like how I talk to you. I'm using my phone, like using the phone because record with the tool that like the content is meant for. Content is meant for TikTok. TikTok and Reels are meant for being consumed on the phone. So just use your phone to record. Remember, it doesn't have to be fancy or complicated. Our objective is quick and simple. So let me set up the phone. I'm gonna put you down and I'm gonna get recording. Okay, so one of the things I do when I'm planning my shot, so I'm going to be doing this one. Aren't these cute? And that, so that's the one I'm gonna be doing. So I need to record, like setting up my shot. And the, so what I do before I hit record is I kind of like plan out like what I want to be doing so that I know where to place things for the action I'm doing. Okay, right, so I have the ponytail. See, it's these little details. You have to kind of be aware of. So like I'm gonna do maybe like this. So this is kind of like what I want my shot to ultimately look like. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to hit record and place my videos. Okay, so now I have my clip so that I can kind of do it. And I'm gonna do it again so I have a backup just in case. So just kind of do it a couple of times so you have a couple of shots in video. We really believe that you, that you there's never enough footage. And so then because of what this shot is, is it is like a photo. And so I'm gonna like reposition how I am doing my shot. Like I'm trying to do this for a photo. So I'm just gonna take the camera shot here. Okay. And then if you remember from the thing, it was actually like, a, there was like a couple, like, and it was like the same, no, not really. It was a couple of items. So I'm just kind of trying to display them looking all posh and adorable. Because when it comes to fashion, I've been learning it is, there are so many details that you have to kind of take into account. Now, I also always like to take a photo before I'm done because you want to have it for Instagram Reels cover. So since I already did take photos, you can always make sure to end your shoot 
with Bubble. So now that I have my footage, I'm gonna create the reel. So I'm gonna go to the one I want. I'm gonna hit use template. And I have my, I knew ahead of time I had these three shots to make. So I'm gonna add my media. So I have to go to my recordings and I can review them in my camera roll. So I kind of have an idea which one I wanted to use. I want this one, I want this one, and I want this one, okay? Okay, so I can edit it by tapping it, and then I can, I slide, I slide it. Okay, so there we go. I have this, and this, and then it goes and does the shots and the shots. So when it comes to photos, they have to look exactly the way that you want them to. So now at this part, we can add text to our screen. So what I want to talk about is like, Goodbye fall colors, hello winter. And so goodbye fall colors, like goodbye fall colors, hello winter. And so like that's our message. So we're gonna hit next. So then when we're in here, this is where we talk about the photo situation. We can just select a cover that we want on here. We also can upload from our device, which kind of gives us more control. And then we would write our caption into here. Now I'm going to save this as a draft and come back to messaging because that's a whole separate thing that we do. I have to like schedule it. It's a whole thing. So, but now I have that piece done and I can go make the other ones. So I'm gonna go do that. You'll see me in a sec. So I finished recording my stuff. I've turned off all of my lights, but I wanted to show you something. Cause I think it's important. Like you guys saw the nice stuff, the finished product, but let me show you my floor. <laughs> <laughs> like these are all of the wrappers and tags from this client's products. So it's not all pretty. I love, you said we're keeping it real. Okay, so now that we've recorded them all and I've created them, what I do is I download them and then I send them to the client to review because it's important that they approve the process because it's not like as simple as just like everything I make is gold and like it, it has to align with what they want their vision for it. So I send to them for approval. Now, here's the thing. Not all customers and clients when they're creating their content is like me having to like do that whole situation where I have like a filming setup and cameras and lights and products. Sometimes I have to create content for them where it's like I need their face and their words. So the tool that I use to allow for this to happen is called Story Prompt. So Story Prompt allows for us to record videos remotely. So what I do is I send someone a prompt of what they need to say, like a question they have to answer or shots I need them to take. And then I'm able to get the footage sent to me so I can make it all work the way that it's supposed to. So this is a story prompt example that I have. So I'm able to like click on this link. I'm able to send this link to someone. Right, question number one, how does your brand Okay, right, so I have the question that I ask in the video, and then they have this purple button that they hit to record their reply. So when I set this up, I very much was very clear like about how long I wanted the video to be, and then like the recording to be vertically associated because I want the vertical, not the horizontal. And so what I do is I just record my response, it gives the countdown, someone can frame themselves. Look, answers to your questions. So look, answers and to then, your questions. And then ready to send, and then they hit yes. Okay. Question number two, why are you sponsoring women in video? So you work through all of the prompts. Like, so I send the prompts, the person records the answer, and then I will get sent an email when they've been done. Answer, 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 answer. And as you can see, like I have this timestamp here in the corner of how long I have while we're doing this to get this done. Okay, let's have some fun. <gasps> okay, my, my, ch my children would approve of that one. Okay. Okay, and so we send it to them. So I can also like add other prompts to get things going and, and do all that stuff, but that's all I needed, right? So I, here on the screen, I can see what my recordings look like, what the answers were. So, and as you can see here in my email, I have the prompt letting me know that I have a video to go watch. And so as you can see, I can go into my story prompt and I can click on the different prompts and see all of the replies that I've gotten for this prompt. 
so I'm able to have them all collected. So then I have this video here and I just hit download and then I have that video to turn to other particle videos. I can do this from my phone. I can do this on my computer if I want to use a third party tool and it just allows for me to like have everything in one place to make it really easy to get vertical videos from the customer. They know what to answer, what question to answer. They can like watch their replies and it back and then I can do our editing magic with adding closed captions, adding it into the schedule and doing all the recordings. So that's how we create our content for our clients. Like we have the two options. These are the really the two that make the most sense and that I think any business can do. You have a story prompt one where you send questions or specific needs. Like I need you to record a video of you like on stage or behind the scenes or the making of this item, that kind of a thing. Like for the cold weather client, Portolano, I'll send them a story prompt. Like, like how do I do a scarf? How would I style a scarf? How would I like tie a scarf? All the different ways with like their different ones that they have so that like you can kind of have those to like help people. So there's a lot, like there's an infinite amount of options and you can set them for like two minutes or whatever so you can record them. I like to give them a little less time so they kind of get to the point because some people will ramble and then it's like just too much and they're uncomfortable and like the point of vertical videos is quick and to the point. The second one is where it's like a UGC model, user generated content where we're creating for the customer with like their product and their item and it's just, very much finding what's trending, finding ideas and recording things. Other ideas that have nothing to do with creating the content, like using templates or a sound, is really just showing the journey of this product. Like if I wanted to show styling, if I wanted to show something with Portolano, what we did is a big photo shoot for them and they had the photographer that did the photos. I was there recording videos so I can make like a stock library of video content for us to use on their social media. So like that's another way for you to do it, like a stock library that you can then edit together different clips and do stuff is really helpful. Or you can just make things as it's needed. It just can take a little bit more time and this is a little less planning. So it's really about like what it is that works for you and like your objectives. Now I want you to watch this video that I have here right here. It's gonna break down for you what videos you should make and like what messaging you should put in so that you can convert people into the right sales for your business.